Hey Scorpio, so I'm checking in on your crush, the person that you are crushing on. All right, typically I would I would do a reading um, who's got their eyes on you, but we're changing it up. We're going to see who you're crushing on through this read and if their feelings are the same. It seems like all these reads um, have left all the zodiacs quite confused about where they stand with this person. So you're going to know this is your read based off what you wish you could tell them and the um, what you've accepted from them as far as behavior. All right. So what you wish you could tell them, look at that. This it's this connection is very, very, and it's unfair. It's imbalanced. All right. Quite possibly you guys have been treated like an option. All right. This is going nowhere. How come it's never going anywhere? How come, you know, you can't pour into me the same way I pour into you? I could say that because I'm a Scorpio, you guys, and our feelings and emotions run very, 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 very deep. And I think that we get some, you know, people mistake. I feel like we, we people mistake us Scorpios. We're, we're, I just feel like we're very, very passionate people. Very, very compassionate. Wear your heart on your sleeve type of people, right? Um, that's a side note. It has nothing to do with your reading. I'm sorry, but I feel like that's what you wish you could tell this person, you know, um, it's like the, the Knight of Cups. Are you seeing anybody else? You know, that, that right there, this guy is, is no better than the Knight of Wands coming through in the reverse. Um, these, any of the Knights, you know, um, coming through any of the court cards really coming through in reverse. Um, it, it shows, you know, a, a pretty clear perspective about one's behavior. All right. That's kind of what I'm seeing that you wish you could tell this person. How come it feels one-sided? How come the love feels um, flip-floppy? You know, um, you got to keep in mind that the crush scenario is not a connection where we're committed. This is just something that we're kind of daydreaming of, right? So that's kind of where I see um, you at, especially when it comes to your head. So let's see what kind of behavior you've accepted from this person. What you have accepted from this person. We have the four of wands coming through. So that's going to be a confirmation on the soul level type of love you guys share. Seeing, um, you know, uh, numbers, right? Seeing the angel numbers, seeing 1111. Um, you know, the type of behavior you have accepted from them. Look at that. The lover's card is coming through and the hierophant. Okay. So this right here, I'm going to say this. Unstable, unbalanced. All right. Very, very insecure on their end and on your end. So not really sure about where this is going to go. Is it going to turn into anything? You know, I feel like this person has shown you or what you kind of accepted is that this, this person is not ready to give that whole cup of love. I'm not ready to start anything, but you are a soulmate. Okay. I can see a future with you, but not right now. Why you got to push it? You know what I mean? I feel like what you've accepted from this connection from this person is that I, I feel like you're comfortable with knowing this person is very deeply connected to you at a soul level and this person has confirmed it okay and that could be why you feel like you can be a little bit more relaxed about this energy um, between you guys it might not be all fair right um, but look at this this right here is love that exists between you and them this right here is only what you wish you could say because somebody's actions definitely is not reflecting what you know what behavior their their actions are like they're obviously not reflecting the behavior that is exhibited right here so you can accept this person ha has deep feelings that run really really deep for you right you can accept that this person's maybe confirmed that you know definitely a soul bond a soul tie a soulmate all right but you've also you know you've kind of accepted this this person's not ready to give in and give you the full cup of love that you probably most likely deserve right so let's see who it is we're talking about you guys if you're not in it on this um, read up to this point, you guys may want to check your moon rising or Venus placements. All right. If you're new, welcome. I do hope you subscribe, you guys. Um, also over on Facebook, that is where I've been doing my uh, uh, live readings, my chakra readings, my um, transmissions from the soul reading. So I hope to see you over there as well. All right. Scorpio, who are you dealing with? you got some, uh, what is that? Libra. You got Libra energy coming through. Y'all could be dealing with a Libra. All right. So here's what we got. There could be somebody with an age gap here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is definitely, um, you know, somebody. This right here is, it's a deep reflection of the past. So you guys probably spend a lot of time in your head reflecting on this connection. All right. Who is this person? Somebody very, very stuck. You got some um, a, a Libra energy. Excuse me. Scorpio. Um, 
Aries. And then we got Virgo coming through, strong earth energy coming through. Okay. So this person is very, very stuck. They've shown you that they're stuck um, internally, emotionally in their head, but the King of Pentacles on the outside, it's almost like they show you this and they show everybody else this. Okay. Um, perception matters to this person. What people think matters to this person, but it's like everything inside internally that you know about this person. Um, that's brewing, man. This person's probably going through like an incessant tower moment since you guys have met. And that could be one of the reasons why you guys have not, um, been able to connect and commit to one another, right? So just to get a little bit deeper on this energy, I want to see what it is they actually show you, what they show you, what they show you. So that Ace of Swords coming through in reverse, basically all talk, not a, not a lot of action behind it, okay? Knight of Pentacles, again, slow moving, a wounded warrior, very, very stuck energy, this person has like the, they're just unable to move forward. Okay. You could be like, I'm going to bless you with big, big things. Um, but all they do is walk away from you. Right. Um, every time I do feel like this is going to be one of those situations that does come back, but you know, um, they've shown you, look at this, the ace of wands, they've shown you their wand. They're, they've shown you some moves. I'm going to say that. All right. But it could be too, that that's the only thing that they can show you that maybe they feel that is even valuable right now. That could be one of the reasons why they keep this away from you, man or woman. It doesn't matter. You guys could have a strong sexual connection. Um, but if that's all they have to offer, um, it's like, I'm more, I'm more than what my package, ha I'm more than what my, what's in the package. Right. You guys know that. All right. But I feel like, you know, outside of this, you know, this person really hasn't given you a lot. Okay. Um, you know, and I'm saying this, this is the malfallical card. You know, this King of Wands energy is, is beautiful energy. This is somebody, you know, who has a lot of eyes on them. Um, and it could be too, that they're very, very enamored with you, but because of what's happening um, internally and in their personal life, I do feel like they keep, they, it's like, I, I best keep my energy away from you, especially if they feel like they're, they can't measure up to you. Okay. But what is it that you don't see with this person? What are you not seeing when it comes to this person? What is it? They're trying to find some sort of stability. Okay. We have the page of uh, swords coming through right here. Okay, this right here, what you don't see, I'm, I'm sorry, but this card is all talk and no action. You already know that. You you know that. But I feel like, you know, what this person recognizes and realizes is how much they've been all talk and no action. Okay, with the Hierophant card coming through, I really feel like they find, stab they find stable ground with you. All right, we have the three of coins also coming through. And I feel like that's a value of the friendship and the, you know, what you have given them. I feel like they do value it. I feel like this person is starting to kind of internalize just how much Scorpio has been there for them, but how much they haven't been there for Scorpio. Okay. Um, with the six of cups coming through in reverse, um, this is going to be something in the past. It could reference your guys' past history. It could reference too that this person's done pushed you away enough that they have a great fear that you're not coming back, right? Um, because the six of cups is, it's a returning past card, all right? What you don't see too could also be something funky going on with a baby mama or daddy, um, kids involved. So that could be some of the tower moment that this person's going through um, that they don't share with you, you know, um, don't got to share everything, right? So let's see how it is they feel about you. How do they feel about you? How does this person feel about Scorpio? Look at that. You've got divine masculine energy coming through and it comes through in the upright. So they see you, your energy as a divine um, you know, you're, you're here for a divine purpose. Look at that. Um, I feel like the, the three of wands, you know, you talk about the ships coming in, like they've waited for somebody like you. And it's like, my life isn't together enough to even have this. I feel like they want to share that with you also. I feel like they want to talk to you a lot more than what you guys get, but I feel like this person's very, just very much inside of their head. It's, it's their safe spot. I'm going to stay inside of my head, which is completely to me. It's like, no, go outside and ground that energy, you know, get that, get the negative energy out, push it into the ground. I, I feel like, you know, kind of collectively, none of us deserve to carry um, a lot of burdens and, and weight when it comes to our minds. Right. I, this is divine masculine energy. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're a male or female, this person does feel that you are a very, very big part of their picture, but they can't seem to, they can't seem to make heads or tells of what's going on. 
um, you know, inside of their own little world right now. Uh, but, you know, it could be energy that they know that they got to clear, right? So let's see if they, they can see a long-term future with you. Do they see a long-term future with you? All right. Look at that. That's a manifestation card. Okay. We have the moon card showing up right here. And I feel like there is, um, you know, it's a sense of light at the end of the tunnel. We have the four of um, coins coming through also, which I would say is a holding space type of energy. All right. It's almost like this. If Scorpio is going to be here, you know, if I can get through everything that's going on, right. If I can get through it, if Scorpio is going to be there, yes, I can see that potential manifestation happen. All right. Um, I, I do feel like this person, I mean, you got the king of wands coming through again. All right. If you guys really want to know, like this um, king of wands is Scorpio and Sagittarius. It's a cusp card right here. Okay. I feel like they can see a future, but it's like, I, ca I can't see past my own shit right now. I got to see past that before I can see the deep future. Right. So let's just see what's happening in the next two months. What's coming through for you guys in the next two months, next one to two months. What unfolds? Look at this, you guys. So if there's been um, hesitation, look at that. You, that's a big card. That is awesome. All right. You have communication coming through for sure. All right. You got communication. And we have that king of, of coins, right? Now look at that. The, the queen of coins is showing up right here. Okay. I feel like if anything, this person's going to come through and they're going to, they're really going to get probably a little bit deeper than what you've ever expected from them, especially if everything seems just really kind of light, airy and superficial. I really feel like this person's going to come through and change that, that narrative. Okay, here, let me talk to you about what's been going on, especially if you guys have had a kind of a, a, a turbulent, you know, past couple of weeks, don't really know where you stand with this person, don't really know what's going on. I do feel like you're going to get some clarity. All right. Um, and, and if, if it means um, getting it, dealing with this person and they're tuning into an uncomfortable spot right now, an uncomfortable, you know, they're good. It's like, I'm going to tell you what's been making me shifty. That's what I feel is coming through. All right. That's what I see coming through for you guys. So let's get some initials. All right. And yeah, you guys, we got PM. FD. And GT Scorpio, I am going to leave it right here and send you guys a bunch of love and luck. All right. Take care.